deep woken is a world of many mysteries. Today we will be talking about the Etrian Luminant, how it came to be, and why it came to be. Before we begin, I would like to turn this into a series of videos where I talk about my predictions for the world of deep woken and theories and such. I would also like to say this video is pretty much all speculation. I very well may be wrong. I'm just going over what I personally think might happen. So without further ado, let's begin. So, we are going based off of how the Etrian Luminant is named, then we can assume that the Luminants are classified based off of the ruling power in the Luminant. This makes sense because the Etrians are most prevalent in the Etrian Luminant. Alright, so hold that hot thought in your head for a second. In Agamotsu's video on the Hive sinking, they talk about how the Hive Island is sinking. They say that they think layer 1 of the depths, also known as the island we go to when we are in the depths, used to be on the surface of the water. I agree with their assessment, because it makes the most sense. Also, I'll be linking Agamatsu's video in the description if you want to check that out. So, if this is true, what would that mean for the Luminant? Well, I think this would mean that what is now the Etrian Luminant used to be the Seltor Luminant. Now you may be asking, why the Seltor Luminant? Because the Seltors the most prevalent race in the depths and they have a huge city that's got to be at least two to three times bigger than Etrus, if not more. This would mean that when the island was above the surface of the water, they would have been the most prevalent race, more than the Etrians, because there's no way that there's only a few Selthors living in that massive city. It would have had to have been big. Even if most of them have died off now, there's way too much housing space for it to be a small amount of Selthors in that big city. Meaning that Seltors, again, would have been the most prevalent race, and even in the depths, they still are. It's just the fact that their island is sank beneath the depths, so now they have no influence on the surface above the waters. Okay, so, would have been the Seltor Illuminant. We have that cleared up, but the real question now is why are the Seltors in the depths in the first place? I mean, what happened? Why did layer one of the depths sink? I think that this has something to do with the sinking of the Hive. I think that the Hive will not be the first island to sink, assuming it does sink. I think something happened to the Seltor Island. We know Seltors as a whole had much wealth, and oftentimes with great wealth comes great greed. Did the Seltors do something to themselves over the fight for wealth and money that caused their island to sink? No, I don't think so. Even though it does seem likely, it seems unrational that they would do something so extreme their entire island would sink. I think someone did it to them in order to steal their wealth. I'm going to make a part 2 for this video, so look out for that. Liking and subscribing would always be appreciated, and if you want to share this video with someone you think would like it, that would be greatly appreciated as well. Well, without further ado, I'll see you guys next time, and again, look out for part 2.